Welcome to another exciting episode of One Knife, One Bird. So today, chosen at random, we have four birds, four knives. From left to right, Bob Dozer, custom knife, brown linen micarta, brass hardware, D2 steel blade, factory fresh. Kydex sheath with the real tree kydex on the front, black on the back. Next up, a 1970s era Randall Model 23 that I have severely convexed the edge to because this one just came so thick. Rounded the guard and made it New York legal. Knocked the edge off the top. Now one from a guy that turned out to be kind of a jerk, but I like the knife. Battle Creek knife. I don't even think he's still making, but uh, if he does, watch out for him. I wouldn't trust him. Anywho, I like the handle. I like the blade shape. It's very thick, very heavy, and I made the Kydex sheath. And. Last but not least, a battle horse knife, Smoky Mountain Drop Point Bushcraft knife, brown micarta, loveless bolts, and this is uh, the spin off of the blind horse knives that split into battle horse knives and LT Wright. These are feral pigeons from the farm that are totally legal to shoot as they are affectionately known by the farmers flying rats so all I do with these guys is a quick well first little calisthenics they're a little stiff okay starting to smell a little ripe because I did this last night and today it's uh, damn near 90 degrees. So I'll try and make quick work of this. I can always edit out if the plucking takes too long, but usually doesn't. All right, here we go. Going into the neck. Look at all that corn that they eat. That's meant for the cows. Don't usually use a bushcraft for this sort of thing, but hell, if you're out in the bush and you manage to catch yourself some game, wouldn't you want to be able to use your knife? That's all I do with these things. Wings off. Wings off, neck off. Still all in frame? Yeah. There's his heart. I feed these to my sweet golden doodle, Bailey. They're good for her and they keep her teeth clean. Alright, one down. It's had nice balance. I like that. I felt good. All right. Next up. Oh, baby. All right. Because it's closest to me. 23. I don't know why this is the first cut. I just like to justify the fact that they're eating all the corn. Wow. Okay. That was easy. For a very thick knife, this is way thicker than any other 23 I've had, but I have noticed that 
the edges on Randall's these days start off much thinner. So there's a lot less steel. You weigh one of these old ones next to a comparable new one, it's going to weigh a lot more. I'm very pleased with the way that went through. Don't want to puncture that. All right. And our final contestant. Oh, he slept wrong. Nice entrance wound. Okay. These are all carbon steel, I should mention. Well, everybody probably knows. 01, 1095, 01, 2 Yikes. Like a freaking laser. That is amazing. Better be careful. I will be honest, I think this was the best one. I didn't time any of this, obviously, but just the way that cut through and still did the bone, even with a thin edge, D2. I've always loved D2. Guys, I try and keep them short. You may or may not have noticed that I left the Battle Creek knife completely out of the cutting part. You know, I thought... Why give this guy any credit? He really turned out to be an incredible flaming asshole. He owes me money, and he owes me a knife. So, fuck him. But I do thank you for watching. See you next time.